Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome to Low Country Fishing. So here's the deal. We're gonna be throwing a couple things at these fish today. Here's something that you guys haven't got a chance to see on the channel yet. And that's these little guys. I got the guys. These are little fiddler crabs. We got some sheep's head fishing that we're gonna be uh, knocking out a little bit later on today when the tide gets right. Uh, we're gonna creep up into the back of this little flat. We got a pile of structure behind us where I know there's some trout and hopefully redfish sitting in here. And we're gonna see if we can put some uh, some food on the table. It's been a while since I've been on a good trout bite. As you guys have seen these videos, I've been really hammering hard on these schooling redfish. And today, I need to get something to eat. So we're gonna uh, get rigged up and I'll see you guys at the first spot. Show you guys i'll start off the video with uh, what i'm fishing with here this is just the uh the z-man pro bullets this is a quarter ounce i'm really really digging these belly weight hooks when i'm fishing heavy on structure if you guys could see the area that we're going to be fishing at low tide you would know exactly why we're fishing weedless with a belly weighted hook this thing's going to kind of just skim and pop up and over these uh, logs and the lure is just a little um uh, space guppy slim swim i've chopped this thing down it's a uh, three inch you can buy the two and a half inch packs, but I just, I bought the three inch pack and I just get the scissors out and I get to dissecting. But all we're going to be doing is pitching around structure. We have a lot of down trees, a lot of coves, some grasses and whatnot. We're just going to, we're going to pitch around. We're going to flip and pitch. If you guys are used to freshwater fishing, fishing like this is right up your alley. But this is exactly the areas that redfish will sit as well as trout. And there's some bunch of flounder back here too. So I'd be interested to see if any of these guys are still hanging around. Got him. Yep, spot lock is here. Hello, Mr. Trout. There's a, there's a quick one. That was a you might be going home size there, little boy. There is a ton of trees right down there. So keep, keep that rod tip high. You will. You will lose them. Get up in there. Give me a redfish chilling in that cove. Got him. Got him. You look a little skinny. You're gonna be close. <laughs> Snap. Going out here on the Bass Pro Shop sponsored tournament rod. Tournament board. Alright, we gotta lay you down. You're close. Easy. Easy killer. Yeah, buddy. You're done. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, I'm, I'm filming, so you'll be on the episode. Are you okay with that? Yeah, of course. Okay. Well, we're just about to pull out of this little creek, and boat just come right around the corner, and it's one of the subscribers. Are you subscribed, Quentin? Oh, of course. Yeah. Bump, bumped into old Quentin. Quentin's got a really nice sea fox. We're just, just chit-chatting a little bit. Gee whiz, what in the world? It's just nice to bump into you guys out here. Always good to be friendly. We were just kind of chatting about some areas to try and fish in. Unfortunately, this little creek system we're in is no longer good because there's too much water dropped out. We can't go any further in. So we're probably gonna wrap up this little segment and um, we got some sheep's head to catch and I've got a secret weapon. I wasn't gonna talk about it too much. Actually, Kyle's got a secret weapon. It's down here, it's in this box, and I'm excited to see it work. 
So you guys stay tuned. Come on, stay away from my door. Come on, stay away from my door. Come on, go. Kyle's, Kyle's getting the uh, the live scope set up for you guys. I want to talk about real quick some of the products that I use to catch these sheep's head. Um, this is the Ice Strike Jail Bait. It is a basically a lead weighted double hook, not a treble, but a double hook setup, and it's got a giant eye on it. The way this thing works is it's got a lead weight, it's got double hooks, and it's got a rubber band. And what you do is you take your fiddler crab like this. You set them down right into that little space, just like that. And then take your rubber band and work the rubber band over the legs. Just like that. Now, you can see this little guy's not going anywhere. His legs are actually pinched. Let's get some good light. His legs are actually pinched in pinch down and we're just going to wait for a sheep's head to take a look and come eat it now the weight on the weight on this jig head it's not a it's not super heavy i think it's a half ounce i believe they come in a half ounce and three quarter ounce and i'm just going to drop this thing straight down i've got a 30 pound fluoro leader i've got about four feet piece and we're just going to drop down let it hit the bottom it's not very deep reel up the slack I'm just gonna test the bottom and see okay there's the bottom now I'll just come right beside the street limb and just drop it straight down I definitely saw one when we first pulled up down. oh yeah there was two of them down there oh I see it moving down there mm-hmm here maybe or is that the is that the screen twitching you twitching out So every now and then you guys you gotta you gotta twerk that handle. Twerk it. Getting on your knees and twerking it's not a good thing. So a live scope is basically a, a live radar image. It's looking down, it's constantly throwing signals and receiving signals, bouncing off of things. That's what's giving you that image just like your sonar does on your boat. But this is doing it at a very, very fast rate. It's giving you almost a 3D image of what's down there. He's got this thing set up in just a, a basic, what is that, a Mag Magellan live bait box or something? Yep, it's a Magellan live, or it's a, yeah, dry box. $50 dry box, I got at uh, Academy. You put those hinges on? Yep. Yeah, put some hinges. Yep. It's powered with two uh, DeWalt 20 volt lithium batteries. Yep, got a couple switches and a uh, two voltage, switches. voltage reducer on there too. Yeah, voltage reducer. And then there's the unit. It swings off to the side over here just like that. Sticks it in and it's portable. Now he can mount this on his boat, but he's got it set up where he can move it around, take it off. It's pretty cool. <laughs> are you are you still on there, buddy? Oh, he went for a ride. He went for a ride. He's still on there. He's like, man, they got my legs. They got my legs, Dan. I'm legless. There's a leg leg joke and a Dan joke there. There's a Lieutenant Dan joke there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. They took my leg, Lieutenant Dan. You know what's funny is I'm a lieutenant in my fire department too. Oh, perfect. Isn't that funny? That is good. Got it. Got you, big boy. Toss it in. There's a good keeper. Is that a black drum? That is a black drum. <laughs> black drum are delicious though too at this size. I'll take a black drum. You only got to be 14 in Georgia. There you go. How about that guy? He'll keep all day. Got him with that. Right there in the mouth. There you go. Mr. David, 
lip hooked perfectly. What are you crunching on, buddy? Let's get the old turny stick out here. We'll double check his length. Yeah, perfect. Just a hair shy of 16. That's good size there. Yeah. You got a sheep? Good sheep? Nice, dude. There's a good size one. That only took two crabs. <laughs> two crabs? <laughs> nice, dude. Whip, whip that big boy in here. Sheeps in Georgia only have to be 10 inches. That is a, yeah, that's a big nice sheep there. 20, 20 sheep there. Well, my man, I think that's a, I think that's a double, right? Yeah, two fish on the boat at the same time. Almost look the same. I know. Tastes a little different. Mine's going to taste like a redfish. Like it is gonna taste like heaven. We need more of those. We're gonna get re-rigged and see how many of these we can get. All right, so you guys want a little glimpse into my sheep's head box. I keep little boxes like this kind of set up for different types of fishing. That way I can just grab a box for whatever I'm trying to do that day, unless I wanna keep it on my boat. Um, so I have just a bunch of various weights, everything from a uh, 3 16 all the way up to about an ounce and a half. Now this is my inshore sheep's head box. I have an offshore box that has heavier weights than this, but I have some bottom sweeper jigs up here. These are all the eye strike jail baits. Um, these are the uh, rubber band hooks. I keep a couple extra spare circle hooks just for live bait. This is something that I'll have to show you guys one day on a different trip, but this is just the um, fish wrap system. This is the one where you can jam um, oysters in, bait it up just the same as you would a crab and send it down. That actually works pretty good too, but we were able to get live fiddlers today. We have size two um, live bait. J style hooks, size two, or sorry, not two, but two aught. Two aughts really for um, bigger sheeps, maybe some offshore. And then I have uh, the one aught sizes as well. So I can rig it up on a Carolina rig, like he's got a dropper rig. Uh, but I personally, I like to use these guys here. Uh, I like how the weight is directly, or the line is directly tied to the weight, which is connected to the hook. So I immediately feel when that fish bumps it, and bang, I'm able to set the hook just like with this jailbait hook. Basically same concept, but two hooks, one hook. Got him, oh, that's a big one. Yeah, baby. Woo! Come on, baby. Yeah. Nice sheep there. Woo! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got my rod, my rod bent over good. Come on up here, I'm trying to keep him out of the, out of the trees. Uh, he's pinned now, I'm sure. I'm just gonna get back here and flip him in. That's a big sheep's head. There's a stud. I don't even know if I can boat flip you, big boy. Wow. That's offshore quality there. Wow. Gee whiz. That is, that, that's, that's a big one. All right, buddy. Well, there you go, you guys. This is exactly where Mr. David Fly with Ice Strike said it was gonna hook him right in the lip every time. I didn't miss him in the, uh, the teeth. It got him right on the lip. There he is. Let's see what you measure out to. 18 and a half inch sheep's head, bro. That's offshore quality there. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Holy cow. Six pound sheephead. Six pound sheep head. Pound sheep head. <laughs> so that's enough to feed to feed about four people right there. Easily. Yikes, that's insane. Whoa! The hell? Is he still there? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the worst hook set of the day, and you still hook this guy. Amazing hook set. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a redfish. Is it, or it's a black drum? Oh, you got a redfish. Hey, there's the grand slam. Cool. Nice. We'll That's pop. why he was still there. Yeah, no kidding. He's got a 
He's actually got wheels. Sweet. That's a good slot. We'll uh, we'll pop a tag in that guy. Beauty. Beauty. Check out that fish. Nice fish, man. I'll trade you. You hold the camera and I'll uh, get a measurement first. I'm saying 19. That was up. 20. Perfect. Perfect fish. So I just load load the tag into the applicator. DNR wants some, ow, it wants some tagged on the left side. So you go about three to, in between the third and fourth little vertebrae here. Punch in, out, turn, and there you go. Properly tagged redfish. Fish, brother. All right, you guys, well, we're gonna go ahead and pack up and start working our way out of this uh, back creek system. Had a good time out here with Kyle. We were able to get on a nice little sheep's head bite. Um, got some trout, we got black drum, we got redfish, we got the grand slam. I don't even know what, what slam you call that. No idea. no idea, but it was a good day. Thank you guys again for all the support that you give me with Low Country Fishing. We'll see you on the next episode. Take care, you guys.